All right, we're going to begin this morning on page 210. Uh, with 110, my bad. 110 with Matovu. tradition teaches that time is a spiral. Every year we return to Rosh Hashanah. However, we never return as the same person we were a year ago. A year of living has shaped us into who we are today. Today is a day for us to look inward and discover who this new me is and which version of me do I want to become in this year ahead. We continue on page 135 with Psalm 150. Hallelujah. 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 
responsibly on page 136 on the next page. Blessed are we, blessed our gathering as we open our hearts to the voice of the shofar. Happy are we who hear its call to return, the sacred trumpet of Teshuva. Blessed are we held close by an ancient sound that echoes door by door from generation to generation. Happy are we, rising to the joyful cry of a new year. Blessed are we who hear in these blasts of sound the voice of community. Happy are we who know its embrace, the season of celebration, its quest for connection and purpose. Holy is this gift of community. Blessed the act of belonging. Continue on, the, on page 137. Hear, O Israel, the divine abounds everywhere and dwells in everything. Its faces are infinite, its sound suffuse, its source suffuse, suffuses all. The many are one. Now began the first of our series of shofar blasts throughout this morning. Tikiya! Shivarim Trua! We now rise for the Baruch Hu on page 142. Just a reminder, it's Rosh Hashanah, so we'll be using the High Holy Day melody, not our regular Shabbat. Please be seated. On page 143, we read creation's glory responsibly. Praise the eternal sun and moon. And all bright stars give praise to God. Praise the eternal vault of heaven. Let the waters rise, give praise to God. For the infinite called them into being. Founded them and fixed their bounds. Praise the eternal, all earth's creatures. Monsters of the depths give praise to God. Fire and hail, snow and smoke cloud. Storm wind that fulfills God's word. Mountains and hills, fruit trees and cedars. Animals and cattle, creeping things and soaring birds. Earthly rulers and all nations. Princes and judges of every land. Young men and maidens. Elders and children. Let them praise God's name. 
For God's name is exalted. Baruch Atah Adonai Now turn to the Shema on page 150. And I ask you to rise again. Please be seated. Now turn to page 164 from Micha Mocha. Prayer is a step on which we rise from the self we are to the self we wish to be. Prayer affirms the hope that no reality can crush, the aspiration that can never acknowledge defeat. Rabbi Morris Adler. Just like last night, the Amidah is quite long with all of the additions for Rosh Hashanah. So as we go about the Amidah, please sit down as you need to. Take care of yourselves. It's a lot of standing that we'll be doing. So with that, I invite you to rise as you are able for Adonai Sipatai on page 166. Adonai Sipatai Tipta Uviyagi Tehilatapa Adonai Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Elohim, 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 Elohim,
We continue with our silent prayer. I invite you to read the teachings on page 173 to guide your independent prayer. We remain standing 
and turn to page 174 for Unatana Toka, which is in the middle of the page. Unatana Toka Kedusha Tayo Ki Unura On the following page is uh, is Barosh Hashanah. Oh, whoops! Sorry, I skipped a reading. Ruth. Yes. Uh, Ruth what? will be leading us in a reading on page one seventy six, at the bottom of the page. And so a great shofar will cry, to Kia a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a whirl of fear and trembling will say, behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes, even they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you like sheep before their shepherd, as a shepherd considers the flock when it passes beneath the staff. You count and consider every life. You set bounds. You decide destiny. You inscribe judgments. Amen. Now we turn the page to Rosh Hashanah, where we will be doing this prayer. Is we will sing the first two lines together. We'll do that twice, and then we will read the first three lines of the English, starting with "How many will pass away from this world." We will then go back to the chorus and repeat between the Hebrew and the English until we have read through all of the English. <laughs> How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will Ikadeu, uyum sum 
Who will reach the ripeness of age? Who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Who by war and who by beast? Who by famine and who by drought? Who by earthquake and who by plague? Who by strangling and who by stoning? Who will rest and who will wander? Who will be tranquil and who will be troubled? Who will broach Hashanah? Who will be calm and who tormented? Who will live in poverty and who in prosperity? Who will be humbled and who exalted? Uchuva begins on page 180. Again, we will be going back and forth between the Hebrew chorus of the first two lines, and then we will read together the English translation, which begins on page 180. There is a paragraph. Then we'll go back into the chorus, and there's two more English paragraphs on page 182. <laughs> Everything that we praise you for, slow, slow to anger, quick to forgive. You do not wish the death of sinners, but urge them to return from their ways and live. Until the day of death, you wait for them. You accept them at once if they return. Since you created us, you know our impulses, we are but flesh and blood.
but for but you, every living sovereign, time has no limits. Your presence, unbounded by days and years, is everywhere. A glorious mystery none can decipher. Your name is worthy of you, and you are worthy of your name. And our name you have linked with yours. Turn the page to 184 for Kedusha. Ekadish etching Kabaola, the Sham Shikmet Shim Boto Bishmema, Kakatu Baya Deviata, Vikara Adonai Tibaot, Melo Haras, I hear I Adonai, Adonai, Mahir, Shin, Pavipo Haras, Baruch, Kibod, Adonai, Nimbo. We read together on the bottom of page 188 in English. And so in your holiness, give your people the gift of honor. Bless with praise those who praise you. Bless with hope those who seek you. Give your believers a basis for faith, true happiness for the land of Israel, true joy in Jerusalem. May the sparks of David, your servant, soon grow bright enough for us to see a beam of light in the darkness, a promise of perfection. <laughs> Turn now to page 192 and read the Hebrew in the middle of the page. Kadosh atav enola shamecha ve'en eloha mibal adecha takatu ve'yukivapa adonai tevaot ishpat ve'ha'el hakadosh mikdash mitzadaka. Baruch Ata Adonai HaMelech HaKadosh. I now invite Carol to offer a reading on page 195. The people's true history is the history of encounters with God. It has this history for its own sake and for the sake of humanity. It bears it and it bore it by it. Every people is a question which God addresses to humanity, and every people from its own place with its special talents and possibilities must answer for its own sake and for the sake of humanity. Amen. Amen. Turn the page to 196 and read at the bottom. So Renu Adonai Eloheinu Boat Litova. Amen. Who folk Denu Bo Livraha. Amen. The Hoshi Enu Bo Lachai. Amen. Turn the page again. And we read the English together. 
God who is ours and God of our fathers and mothers, in your glory reign over the infinite expanse of space and time. In your grandeur be exalted, through your power show us your reality. Then all who dwell on earth shall understand that you are their maker. Astound us with the beauty of your presence, so that every breath of life shall say, Eternal is the God of Israel, all embracing God's rule and sovereignty. Turn the page again, and we read responsibly. We are stiff-necked and stubborn. Teach us to bend your bend before you. Convinced we're right, entrenched in our own perspective, we resist your call to repent. Convinced we're self-sufficient, entrenched in the illusion of control, we resist your call to humanity. Convinced we can have it all, entrenched in the dream of mastering the world, we resist your call to wake up. Today you summon us out of our arrogance, out of rigid, rigidity, fantasy, shallowness, self-deception. Teach, Teach us to bend our knees, to bow our heads before the mystery, to realize our frailty and our finitudes. Teach us to make you malef, sovereign in our life, to align ourselves with your goodness and truth. We will not bow before Pharaoh. We will not bow before the virgin Lord. We would not submit to any power on earth or give ourselves to any material thing. But we, the Jewish people, sit in that seventh to the end today we bow before you. Page to 202. six for the blowing of the shofar. Say the blessing at the top. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kishanu Mitzvotav Mitzivanu Mishmoa Kol Shofar. Tekiya Shevarim Teruah the key the At the bottom of 207, we said the words of Arashat. <clears throat> Thank 
on page 208. God who is ours and God of our fathers and mothers, lead us to holiness through your mitzvot, and may each of us find a portion of Torah that is ours. You bestow such goodness, teach us to be satisfied and to know the joy of your salvation. Help us to serve you truly with purity of heart for you are a faithful God whose truth stands forever. Baruch Ata Adonai, Melech al Kol Haaret, Bekadesh Yisrael, Vayom Hazikaron. Turn to page 213 with a reading by Rich. Give us life and all good gifts. Grant us all wisdom only what we need, courage to trust your bounty, imagination to preserve our resources, determination to deny frivolous excess, and inspiration to sustain the temptation. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha, Rucha Na'et Tim Shalom is found on page 216. <laughs> Turn now to page 223. As you did last night, I will read the Hebrew and the congregation will respond with the English. Abinu Malkenu Shema Kolenu. Abinu Abinu Malkenu Katanu Lefanecha. Abinu Malkenu, we are straight and sin before you. Avinu Malkenu Kamo Alenu the Alalenu Vitapenu. Avinu Malkenu have compassion on us and our families. Avinu Malkenu Kale Dever Vehereb Vera Al Ma Alenu. 
of being a volcano called the onslaught of serious violence and hunger. Avinu Malkenu Kale Poltar Umastin Me'alenu. Avinu Malkenu called the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu Kotbenu Besefer Chayim Tovim. Avinu Malkenu enter our dreams in the book of lies we all live. Avinu Malkenu Hadesh Alenu Shanatova. Avinu Malkenu renew us for a year of goodness. Sorry, I got a recording this one. A beautiful volcano. A Now turn to page 227. And begin our Torah service. In tomorrow, 
For the Aliyah this morning, I'd like to invite up Greg and Carol Friedman. The blessing is on page 238, and the Parsha for this morning will be found on 240. Ba 
ויש כן אברהם בבוקר ויחבוש את המורו ויקח את שני נערב איתו ואי יצחק בנו ויבקע עצי עולה ויקום וילך אל המקום קום אשר אמר לו האלוהים ביום השלישי ויישא אברהם את עיניו ואת המקום מרחוק ויאמר אברהם נערו אל נערו Of all the stories in Torah, on one of our holiest days, a day that we celebrate the beginning of a new year, hope for what may be, and then dedicate ourselves to part of the world we hope to see. A day that also leads us into the days of awe. Why do we read this story about Abraham preparing to and nearly carrying out the sacrifice of his son Isaac? Let's zoom out for a second. Back to those early days of rabbinic Judaism. Let's imagine we are the rabbis constructing this post temple practice for Rosh Hashanah. Which portion would you select for the Jewish people to read on this day? On the surface, the Akedah is a wildly uncomfortable story. Abraham's allegiance to God is tested by God, by which Abraham is asked to sacrifice his son Isaac. Interestingly, unlike many tests, there is not a clear answer as to which is the right option to have taken. Our rabbis have written widely about this topic. It was Abraham's choice, as it appears to have been, to commit to an unwavering dedication to the sacrificing of his son pursuant to God's direction, the right choice? Was God truly looking for this level of commitment for Abraham? Was God looking for Abraham to think this request was a bridge too far? Let's hold on to these thoughts and consider other portions that could have been read for the beginning of a new year, the beginning of a cycle, the period of rebirth and renewal that might have been a better fit. Instead, we could have read the portions about Abraham's first test, how he became the first person to accept Adonai as God, and how he instituted the practice monotheism. Or maybe we could have read about Joseph accepting his brothers into Egypt and forgiving them for selling, for selling him into slavery since one of the major themes of the days of awe is forgiveness, and one example that is. It is both easy to see the value in these portions being read at this time, and they seem to remove a major controversy that instead we focus on on this day. It would seem that a clear story with no downside may have been easier to connect with to the themes of Rosh Hashanah. These stories are far easier to accept and celebrate compared to the almost human sacrifice we read instead. We read the Akedah precisely because the teachings of this story make us uncomfortable and drive us to wrestle with the text in order to make and take meaning from it. This is not a simple story for a read, to read. It's one to think about, it's one to unpack, it's one to be uncomfortable with. Is one to imagine how it reflects our understanding of our own relationship with God. It's really tough. The key to becoming our best selves starts with discomfort. A, com 
a comfortable person does not change, at least not in a significant, major, transformative way. This is not about changing how you style your hair or giving almond milk a try. It's not those types of changes. <laughs> These are transformative changes about ourselves, how we are with others, our community, our world, and God, who we are at our core. Over these high holy days, these days of awe, we are given this most unique and precious of opportunities to look inward and confront our actions and our character. We look into the mirror of the past to see our faults and into the mirror of the future to see what we strive to become. There is a story that takes place in the city of Helm. <coughs> Late one night, Shmuel sees his friend, Avram, looking for something on the ground under a streetlight. What are you doing, Avram? asked Shmuel. I've lost my keys. Can you help me find them? replies Avram. Together, Avram and Shmuel search and search but cannot find these keys. Eventually, Shmuel asks, Avram, where exactly can you lose your keys? <laughs> I lost them over there, as Avram points to an alley around the corner. <laughs> Shmuel was dumbfounded. Why are we looking over here? and not over there where you lost them. Abram replied, because the lighting is better here. Oh. <laughs> the work of self-growth and teshuva, repentance, cannot take place under the street lamp. We must face the darkness in order to do the holy work of self-reflection and introspection. Vision how we can do better and be better as we journey towards Yom Kippur, the critical work of seeking forgiveness. In the days ahead, I ask that you reflect back on today's portion and about how Abraham, clearly dedicated to God and our Jewish theology, might start his work. If given a mulligan or a do-over, should he respond in the same manner, a different manner, or is it simply too hard to figure out what that answer could be? Then make the transition to reflecting on your own journey to consider how you acted and failed to act during 5785. For the peaks and valleys of your own conduct, how can you do better? We are a fortunate people in many ways, one of which is a built-in annual cycle that requires us to take pause, reflect, and consider ways that we as individuals can help improve our personal connections and those that are greater than our own. Join with me to do this hard work in the days ahead. May our work help us all to journey closer to the individuals we aspire to be, to help build the world that we aspire to be a part of. And may we all be inscribed in the Book of Life. May 5782 be a year of good health, peace, personal reflection, and goodness for all of us, the greater Merced community, our nation, Israel, and the world. Shana Tava. So the Torah is still out and in our midst. We turn to our prayer for healing, our Mishabera. As my eyes scan across our congregation, I invite you to say the names of those that you are thinking about in need of healing of body, spirit, or mind. Focus at, at all. Our Misha Barach is found on 245 on the second half of the page.
Service. Turn to page 264. You read responsibly. The divine awakens within us a sudden awareness of your presence. Seeing signs of your compassion, we say, God, remember. God remembered Noah and all the beasts that were with him in the ark. And God caused the wind to blow across the earth and the waters subsided. When cruelty and hate diminished, we say, God remembered. The Israelites were groaning under the bondage and cried out. God heard their moaning. God remembered the covenant between Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Surprised by joy, we say, God remembered. And God remembered Rachel, and God gave him to her and opened her womb. Overcoming anger, finding strength to forgive, we say, God remember. God remember the covenant with great, great love, love and a change of heart. The divine awakens within us a sudden awareness of your presence. When we feel our kinship with all creatures of earth, we say, God remember. I will remember, remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures. When we long to be forgiven, we say, God, remember. I remember your compassion and your faithfulness. They are as old as time. Remember not the wrongs of my youth and my defiance. The divine awakens within us a sudden awareness of your presence. Overcome by awe in places of grandeur, we say, God remembers. God sustains me. God remembers. When memories of the Exodus are renewed, we say, God remembers. Remember the devotion of your youth, your love as a bride, how you followed me in the wilderness of the land unsettled. The divine awakens within us a sudden awareness of your presence. Even when sorrow is in our heart, we say, God will remember. And though I speak against him, I remember him with tenderness. That is why my heart yearns. I will receive him back in love. When we remember who we are, we say, God will remember. I will remember for the sake of the nations. I free from the land of Egypt, in sight of the nations, to be their God. I, Adonai. Baruch Ata Adonai, Zohar Habri. Turn now to page 268. The prophet said, cry aloud, lift up your voice like a shofar. This is the meaning of the verse. See yourself as a shofar, the instrument of the divine. Do not take pride in your virtue or the power of your deeds. With every mitzvah you do, every act of intellect, goodness, and love, God's spirit breathes through you. Shakiah. 
shivering through all. <laughs> is on 269 at the bottom of the page. <laughs> Page 276 for Hoda. Done in the middle of the page. Now rise as we dress and return to art, the Torah to the art. It's Chaim is found on 277, third line down. Thank you. 
Turn to page 283 and read together. I know that poverty must cease. I know this through the brokenness and conflict in my heart. I know that protest is my most prophetic act and that the Lord is longing for a new soul, a new feeling moment. I know that when we awaken to our origins and become truly human, we bring hope to the children and to the earth. I feel called today to bring people together to break the bread and tell the story. I feel called today to be a mystic in action, aligned to the dynamics of the universe. I feel called today to be my gift, to listen to the heartbeat of the broken world, to heal the fragmentation of people and planet. I feel called today to celebrate the wonder of creation and respond to sacredness and the challenges of life. I feel called today to participate in the world of my lifetime, to fall in love, to feel at home. I feel called today to be the link with the enduring hope, to be at one with the universe, to be touched by God. I feel called today to compose a new paragraph of my life. This is the big uh, shofar moment. Turn to page 284. Say the blessing for the blowing of the shofar. Baruch Ata Adonai, Shomea Kot Ruach, Yisrael, Berachamim. Shavarim Teruah. Tikiya Shivarim Tikiya Tikiya Tarua Tikiya Gadola. Sing a rush it one one more time. Pitch two eighty three. Aresh et sefate inu yerav e panecha el rav e nisa me inu mazim
Carol, do you have any announcements? Uh, uh, reminder for the our only announcement that we'll be uh, cleaning up the patio and then we'll be walking across to uh, for Tashleek um, to send away our sins in Bear Creek. And uh, we'll be looking forward to, we'll send out reminders about the schedule for um, Yom Kippur. We'll be meeting on the patio. We'll do the best we can. If during the day we're a small group, it's going to be hot, so we'll move into the air-conditioned house. But Kol Nidre will be outdoors, and um, probably our closing service in Yisker will be outdoors. So it won't be comfortable, but we will be Zooming. So for those that the heat can't take the heat well, I, I invite you to join along with us on Zoom. Thank you. Question? Yes. Um, in years past, Carol, we've done some donations, you know, yes. at Yisker. Could we ask for like a canned food drive? And we can definitely do that. Yeah. People that want to bring canned food, then we'll get that to, to, the to those to the church yeah. over at Methodist Church where they collect and, and pass out food uh, for less fortunate. So anytime, that's always a possibility to always contribute to that. Thank you. Thank you for your beautiful services, Rabbi. We yes. really enjoyed you a lot. Very meaningful. Yes, and it's uh, Wednesday to Thursday mm -hmm. is Yom Kippur. Yeah. We turn now to page 286 for Elena. 286? 286. We'll be reading the one on 286. There's always a few options for this. Please rise for Elena. Take <laughs> messenger were to come to us with the offer that death should be overthrown, but with the one inseparable condition that birth should also cease. If the existing generation were given the chance to live forever, but on the clear understanding that never again would there be a child or a youth or first love, never again new persons with new hopes, new ideas, new achievements, ourselves for always and never any others, could the answer be in doubt? When we fear death's decree, let this bring us solace, the memory of loved ones who have gone before us, a vision of generations to come through whom we reach far into the future beyond our own lives. Alas for those that never sing, but die with all their music in them. Let us treasure the time we have and resolve to use it well, counting each moment precious a chance to apprehend some truth, to experience some beauty, to conquer some evil, to ease some suffering, to love and be loved, to achieve something of lasting worth. There is promise within each of us that only we can fulfill. Let us live our lives so that someday it will be true to say of us, the world is a little better because for just one moment they lived in it. At this time on Rosh Hashanah, our community is remembering the yard sites in this month of Norman and Rossini, Henry Bernstein, Harry Friedberg, 
Leon Ginsberg, Mary Gaventer, Barbara Goldman, Lee Campson, Gerald Kaplan, Judith Goodstein Clayton, Mel Kramer, Alexander Labach, Fred Moore, Morton Rosenbaum, Ann Rothberg, Samuel Salzberg, Martin Victor, and Stephen White. And in this calendar year, our community is remembering Mary Hoffman and Alan Snelling. I invite you now to say the names of those you are remembering on this day. Right now, all to please rise as you are able for the Mourner's Cottage on page 292. <laughs> The May their memories be for a blessing. Please be seated. We turn now to page 299 for Ain Pelohenu. <laughs> May be a sweet and happy new year. Amen. Shatova. 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 Shatova.